So I hear you're embarking on a big project or a really expansive new phase of your life, Cancer. And for that, you need more energy, more vitality. And Spirit is saying both that is available to you and also really important, really effective piece of advice is whenever we need something, remember to ask. Remember to ask that that possibility be activated inside of you that is always available. But it feels like cancer for many of you. You've been doing a lot of output. You've been giving away a lot of energy. You've been doing a lot. And now it's like, here comes this again. I'm feeling like for some of you, it's this big project. For others of you, it's kind of like there's a few things coming down the pipeline for which you're going to need to be able to be abundantly energetic. And if that seems hard or impossible, this is your reminder to ask for spirit to come in and to help you out, for your people to come in and help you out. Um, consent is always needed. Hi, Cancer. I'm Madeline. If we haven't met before, welcome to your September reading. I'm excited to get into the details, but that's first things first. Being offered like a divine IV drip. <laughs> That's what Spirit is saying. That's so funny. That's what they're showing me. And maybe that's to help you with a little bit of a visualization. If you're like, well, how do I get this lovely juice? Well, go ahead and set aside half an hour. Uh, pick out some lovely music to kick back and listen to and to help activate. Spirit is even using the word uh, or the word or I don't know. Is this a word or a phrase? Somebody, some grammarian out there, help me. ASMR. I guess it's technically a phrase. Whatever. They're talking about a ASMR. They're talking about like activating those little chills up and down your spine, up and down your skin. So there is music that does that for you, music that really activates you. Bring that in as the sort of accompaniment for asking spirit, for lighting a candle and opening the space and say, spirit, I'm ready for that IV drip. The weird lady on the internet was talking about, go ahead and give me my energetic IV drip or my inspiration IV drip or fill in the blank, okay? You are more powerful than you necessarily always remember. Okay, let's get into some cards. Let us get into September for Cancer people. Excited to see Spirit. What is here and what is ahead? What do you want to show to Cancer for their highest good Spirit? We want to know the truth about what themes have been showing up, are currently showing up, and how that is unfolding into the future for cancer. What they need to know about it for their highest good and how best to navigate it. Your guidance for cancer people for their highest good in the month of September. Thank you, spirit. Cancer sun, cancer moon, cancer rising and dominant folks. In the month of September, what's showing up and how is cancer best served by showing up in response? Perfect. I'm here in the number three. Haven't seen any of your cards yet, cancer. I don't know, some of you might be working in a trio. Some of you might have three projects that you're trying to manage at the same time. You might see repeating numbers this month. That's the other thing that Spirit is showing me with that. And if you notice the repeating numbers, sure, we could go into details about what each of the individual numbers mean. For me, more often than not, it feels like a wink from the universe or a tap on the shoulder like, hey, just in case you were kind of going to sleep or going unconscious or forgetting about how powerful you are or what's possible, tap, 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 remember, you're awake. Remember, wake up inside this dream that is life. Become lucid inside the dream that is life and start creating more scenarios than just responding. Feel me? I love when spirit talks. Okay. Woo! Love it. Okay, let's get into it. This could be the start of something big. That's what spirit... <laughs> who's, who's the theater person out there? Because that's spirit is doing Broadway. Wow. Wow. Yeah, Cancer, you are getting into something big. And I feel like... Listen, all of this looks gorgeous. I would say let's jump to the one hiccup in your reading or the one place where we could get a little bit um, dragged down and that is sitting in the key position, the devil. Old habits 
die slow. <laughs> I know that's not the saying, but that's what spirit is saying, okay? Is you can, you may, you'll be tempted. You'll be tempted this month. And temptation looks different for different cancers, but really the overwhelming feeling that they're giving me the, the, the biggest uh, crossover in the Venn diagram of uh, visions that they're showing me right now is the habit of martyring yourself, the habit of setting aside your self-care, uh, taking care of your own well-being, because it's like, well, I have to do all these projects or I have to take care of this person. And that's something else that I'm getting is like, many of you are of course like caretakers in one form or another. Um, but this feels, <sighs> you're gonna wanna be really careful about how you manage your energy. And it's like, again, these cards are gorgeous. It seems to me like it's very much available to you to be able to harness and manage your energy in a really effective way. So just keep an eye on any old habits of like, oh no, I don't need to eat. It's okay, I'll eat after, you know, I finish this thing and then you've got low blood sugar and then you're crashing out. You know what I'm talking about? Anything that has to do with setting aside your own needs and priorities in, in the name of, you know, the project or the other person or whatever. Watch out for that. I feel like you can actually have, have it all, okay? Um, and that going that old way would, would actually undercut your project as well as everything else, okay? Okay, so sitting in the recent past, kind of our point of reference, the world, big congratulations, big graduation, big completion of a cycle. I feel like you have you have ascertained from the last big project or big effort that you made something that you want to do differently or something that you're going to add to the next time. That's what feels like this is about. So what did you learn last time? And maybe it even has you reflecting on some devilish things where it's like, well, this was the thing that got in my way the last time I was trying to do something like this. And now spirit is saying, for some of you, that devil thing is again, giving away your energy or toxic, you know, dead end situations and relationships. For others of you, it could be like a literal addiction, like this addiction to this substance or this activity is getting in the way of my life. Getting it last time it got in the way of the project, if that is it for you, keep an eye on that. That's the best thing to do with the devil is to simply keep an eye on bad habits or negative whatever and look at it with compassion. Look at it with love. If you look away from it, it grows. If you look at it with fear and shame, it grows tremendously. Now, if you look at it and you go, ooh, yeah, I'm really feeling the desire to self-medicate or to be really codependent right now or whatever, but I'm going to keep an eye on that. I'm gonna consciously make a different choice and things are gonna flow in this really positive, vital, healthy, expansive direction because of that. That's what I'm feeling. Um, so take what you have learned from this past cycle, okay? And bring it into the new one. The world is the end of a cycle. Ace of Wands sitting in the present, a new beginning a flash of inspiration, a great idea that given the proper oxygen, right? Fire needs oxygen and it needs fuel. So feeding your creativity, um, cultivating, that's the word that spirit is using, um, cultivating your creativity very consciously. This could be the start of something big, very big. And this feels very connected to your um, your creative vision. You're coming through as the King of Swords. So another, another example of taking control, another example of being kind of at the top of your game as implied by the world. And with that devil, when I look at the, the King of Swords and I look at the devil, it could also be like, watch out for your ability to manipulate other people with your words, okay? Very smart, very erudite, very articulate. And because of that, you might be tempted to um, get other people to do things like in their own interest. But if there's any, like, if you have to manipulate, if you have to go through back doors, if you have to like calculate the way that you put things in order to get what you want, that might be your devil, okay? so. Keep an eye on that. Uh, King of Swords would say, be straightforward. Be very honest. Don't be afraid to take the lead, certainly. Um, lots of integrity here. 
but be careful with your words because maybe you don't always even know your own strength and that could also be the devil is like oh i didn't know that i said that so offhandedly i didn't think that that was going to like cu cut that person in half but apparently they were really hurt by that that's what i'm hearing so some of you just be careful with your words because you're very powerful it's a very powerful position that you're in and speaking of power sitting in the future the chariot long-term success the overcoming of obstacles and spirit is saying um for some of you there's going to be an opportunity this sounds funny but it's like to get off on the obstacles to get off on like holy shit look at the way that i'm navigating look at the way that i'm handling this so deftly i actually could not have gotten where i'm trying to go without the amount of friction that gave me the traction to get there so when challenges pop up try to look at them as opportunities to grow opportunities to learn opportunities to expand that's always a good approach okay but this month it feels like i <laughs> spirit is saying green lights you're going to be getting green lights when you are moving in the right direction. If you keep hitting stops, or if you come to an obstacle and you don't have the energy or the desire to overcome it, ask yourself if like, am I even on the right road or do I need to change direction? Do I need to do, is this really lighting me up? Or do I wish that it would light me up, but it's not? You know what I'm saying? That does, definitely does not apply for all cancers. I'm just hearing some of you when you like, that'll be your sign that, oh, it's red lights. I keep coming up against red lights and they're not red lights like that allow me to learn and grow and expand and, and pivot. They're just slamming doors in my face. Pivot. If that is the case, pivot. Your guidance, nine of pentacles. Please trust your expertise. <laughs> nine of pentacles is the self-made person. This is also a great card when it comes to your finances, like self-sufficient, independently wealthy but more than anything you can be really proud of the the product that you have created the outcome that you have cultivated um, whether that's financial or whether that is literally like you know we're coming up on fall and spirit is showing me someone harvesting from their garden so that's a metaphor okay some of you yes will literally be harvesting food from your garden some of you it's like wow, I'm harvesting this new job from all of that expertise that I cultivated, or I'm harvesting this money from that course that I cultivated, or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? I'm hearing a few different things. So speaking, though, of courses and teaching and organizing, um, sitting in the climate, the energy around and available to you, the Hierophant, rules, um, institutional protections, Everything here looks pretty good to me with that. Some of you may be starting school again, or some of you are teaching. Feels like a gimme, but it's fall. So teaching and, and being a student, being a mentor or mentee figures here. Looking at these cards, I feel like you're the mentor. Whom are you mentoring? What are the rules and traditions that you preach in your life? And make sure that you are walking your talk. I feel like you will be, but I just want to hammer that home. Walk your talk. Sitting in the position representing your hopes and fears. The hanged one. A change in perspective. There's, it feels like, okay. Yeah, spirit is connecting, getting a little hung up. There being like a delay or something taking longer than it was supposed to, some type of setback. Spirit is like, remember that you are in your chariot and you are on a journey. And when we're on a journey, like let's say a road trip in our chariot and we blow out a tire or we get lost or there's a detour on our original planned route, we do not say, well, God doesn't want me to get to New Mexico. So I guess like this whole trip is over and I have to go home. No, that's our opportunity to test our mettle. That's our opportunity to say, well, then this is what I'm going to do instead, to take the reins, to take the wheel, and to make a new choice. And Spirit is saying, your courage will be honored. And here's the other thing. If you don't, if you feel discouraged, again, ask yourself, is this thing that I'm trying to do really lighting me up inside or not? 
Because if it's not, then it's okay to go, well, I don't want to be on this road trip. I don't even want to go to New Mexico. I, what, what do I want with New Mexico? You know what I'm saying? So if you don't want to fucking go to, <laughs> go to metaphorical New Mexico, it's okay for you to hop out of the car, change direction, drive back home, plan a new trip, okay? Um, and what I, what I want to get across with that is you are not like a bad or a lesser person if you decide that, oh, I actually don't want to do all of the, this hilly ass drive that I had planned out. Actually, that doesn't sound good to me anymore. It's not lighting me up. Then that is your choice to turn and go a different direction. The thing that is going, here's how to know if you're heading in the right direction, you feel proud of yourself. And it doesn't need to be attached to the outcome. It needs to be attached to the journey. Not, I will be proud of myself when. No, I am proud of myself for doing this thing. I am enjoying the process. Not, I'll be, well, yeah, well, this sucks, but I'll be really happy when I get all the money. Or I'll be really happy when the thing is done. Like, this sucks ass and I don't want to be doing it. But it's going to be great when it's over. Do your best to enjoy the process. Make the changes necessary to enjoy the process or perhaps consider a new process. Things look fucking great to me. I see progress, I see authority, and I see fulfillment here. Lots to learn. Trust your authority, trust yourself. Um, you've earned your expertise. Now go ahead and wield it.